Do you want a hip flexor exercise that is relatively safe, relatively simple, and super powerful that's going to help build these muscles in here so that you can lift your legs better when you walk, go upstairs, and all that kind of stuff? Well, I got the exercise just for you today. What's up, YouTube MS Gym family? My name is Trevor Wicken, and I am the founder and creator of The MS Gym the largest platform for movement, mindset, and education for people affected by MS and other neurologic conditions. So we release videos on this channel quite often. So make sure that you watch this video, you like this video, and then you go and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all the awesome content that we're gonna be putting out that's gonna help you counteract your symptoms and live a life by design and not by diagnosis. With that, I encourage you to watch till the very end of this video because I always have some special offer for you that will give you an opportunity to come train with us inside the MS Gym. So take a look at this diagram right here. This is called your intrinsic kinetic chain. Now, all the muscles that you see in the red here are the muscles that we're going to be using to uh, work the midline of our body or the, the center of our body. This is truly core strength and core stability at its finest. Now, when you look at this diagram, you're going to see that there's a certain group of muscles called your psoas muscles that come right down from your spine. You'll see the diaphragm in the middle here, and you got these triangle-shaped muscles coming down this way, or these diagonal muscles, and then they kind of connect down into the pelvic floor. Well, these muscles, with, for people that have a very hard time lifting their legs up, it's due to gravity. It's due to the mass of the leg. So instead of thinking about a vertical motion like this, what if we start to train like babies, start to train like infants, and relearn how to actually locomote or move forward using a primitive skill called crawling? So for many of you to get down in this position might be kind of tough, all right? And it might be actually kind of tough for you to actually move down or translate across a floor. So I'm going to show you two different ways to crawl. One of them is a stationary, I guess, if you will, or a static forward and back. So you're not actually moving forward. So a non-translational crawl for all you geekos out there. Um, and then we'll get into translational. So all we're going to do here is we're going to push up away from the floor. We're going to hold our abs in and create a nice stable spine. Now when we crawl, the pattern is this is my right hand over here. This is my left leg. I want my right hand and my left leg to move forward at the same time and also to move back at the same time. So that's the skill that we're going to do. Now this is a flexion-based movement, so that's going to connect to our exhale. So as we pick up our arm and as we move our leg forward, I'm going to have you breathe out just saying, and I want you to pull up on your abs as we do it, okay? So we're going to go three uh, non-translational on the right left and then the left right, all right? To push away from the mat, get your spine nice and flat. We're going to move from our hip flexor and move from our arm. All right, here we go. Inhale. Pull your abs in, exhale, and then right hand forward, left leg forward. Now, I'm going to have you inhale and go back to the start position. So inhale back to start. Exhale and forward. Inhale back to start. Exhale back forward. Inhale back start. Okay? Now we're going to switch. Now we're going to go left hand and then right leg back here. All right, ready? Inhale and exhale. Left hand, right leg. <sighs> Inhale, come back to start. Exhale and forward. <sighs> Inhale and back. Exhale and forward. <sighs> Inhale and back. And that's it. That's how we do it, okay? So that's an amazing way to start. So you can do that on a mattress. A firm mattress, you can do that on a couch, you can do that on a therapy table, or you can do that on the floor, okay? For some of you that you can't get on and off the floor very well without assistance, this exercise may not be the best for you. I have other hip flexor exercises on this YouTube station, okay? Now, when we go into translational, we're actually going to move forward, okay? So it's the exact same pattern, exact same breathing, but now we're just going to keep going forward. We're not coming back to center, okay? Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, and then we just turn around. 
okay? You, now, if you have a, a long hallway, just keep going, right? Because this, this mimics the gait pattern and mimics ambula ambulation, which is walking. Okay, ready? So inhale and exhale. And they don't have to be long, long big steps. Inhale, exhale, pull the abs up. Inhale, pull the abs up, exhale. Inhale, pull the abs up, exhale. And relax, okay? That's it. So what I would recommend is that you do five reps, the non-translational, so right arm, left leg for five, and then left arm, right leg for five, and then you go into translational if you can do it, meaning that we're moving up and down a hallway or we're just focused on moving forward and creating forward horizontal movement. Now, when we practice on the horizontal movement coming this way and taking gravity kind of more out of the equation, then your brain can focus on using those hip flexors and that intrinsic kinetic chain in a coordinated fashion so that when you get back up on your feet, the brain actually knows what that feels like to use those muscles in coordination and as a team. So that's gonna help you stand better, walk better, and move better. So enjoy this one. If you want more exercises just like this one, I encourage you to check out exercisewithms.com. On this page, you'll find a complete library of movement circuits that are going to help you improve your strength, flexibility, mobility, and reduce your fatigue. We've had a lot of gymmers start on this page and start their healing journey, and it has really helped them start to counteract their symptoms so that they can live a better life. So click on the link below, and I hope to see you on the inside.